myself. I keep telling this thing he like he wanna think he wanna do this YouTube chat. But if I really recorded the real shit, I'm mean, if I, I do record the real shit if I really posted it. He won't be feeling it. So I mean by myself because <coughs> excuse me. He want me to get mad. I don't feel like second think I'm tired. It's damn near 2 o'clock in the morning. If it's not 2 o'clock in the morning already. Um, if it should say 2.38. <coughs> it's damn near 3 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been up since like 9 something. Off and on. He just got here at 11. He been getting on my nerves since he got here. You want me to suck dick? Why? Because we sipped a little bit. Because I smoked a little bit. No. I can be more. super lit. Nigga, I'm still not feeling you. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. And the thing that bothered me about niggas, if you know you about to ask your bitch for something later, like some buzzy or some shit, you know what you think is you should be on your best behavior all day. is where so I mean by myself because when he don't get what when he don't he act like I don't even want to say a bad a brat I want to say a bitch he start acting funny he don't talk to me all of a sudden his like energy everything changed because before he asked me to give him head like he was this motivational preacher outside but now he don't get what he want when he wanted, he turned into an arrogant asshole. Like, I don't got time. That's why I'm fine out here by myself with my girls. He wasn't here for Halloween. Hence why Halloween was a good day. Y'all see me recording from the mi from the minute this this whole shit started, bro. I've been recording on the train to see me get on my in my nerves since it's done. Bro, no. Listen, I'm not, I'm not sucking no dick. I don't want to. I don't want to. I actually have to suck your dick in order for you to know how to function around me type shit. Then don't be by me. I don't want to do it. And you think me smoking and me drinking is going to get me more in the mood. No. No. My mental capacity is beyond being able to feel a certain feeling when I'm drunk or under the influence. No, if anything, I'm more aware. I'm not doing it. Like, when do niggas get through they fucking have? Like, at this point, like, you only here because we got kids together. And you want a bitch to suck and fuck you all day? I'm a god. He should have left that shit in Rochester, bro. There's bigger shit going on. As soon as he got off the train, it wasn't, oh, how is he got? How are you? How are you racist? It was nothing about us. Nothing. It was, oh, oh I want my dick sucked. What? No, I'm good. Nate's priorities is all the way fucked up. But when he get drunk, and he be under the influence or whatever, he turned to preacher Brown. All of a sudden, he could see the world through his third eye, all this other stuff. And I might have believed the bullshit once upon a time, but at this point, I've been fucking with this nigga since summer 2016. Two kids. Mad extra shit in this bitch. I don't believe really shit you say. At this point, this is this is just a new character you done adapted when you wanted to influence. But I guess everybody got different sides to him. You don't know. 
It is what it is. Love and judgment. But I'm over all the personalities. I'm off it. <laughs> I just can't be by this thinking. I'm not sucking no dick in order for us to function. Because that when you get your dick sucked, you a whole different nigga. Like, you turn to this new nigga right before you ask me. So, like, when he all of a sudden is so, like, motivational and just the most, oh, my God, he's such a cool guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, he about to ask me to suck his dick because this ain't, this ain't normally you. So, he started becoming a new nigga. And then I asked him, and then the real nigga come on. And in order for him to play the role of whatever, the best dad, the best boyfriend, the shit y'all see when I'm on my phone, on my computer, when I'm pulling my phone out, when he's saying like, oh yeah, baby this, and grabbing on me and shit. When I'm telling this thing to get off of me, I'm dead ass. I'd be like 2.5 seconds from bugging the fuck out, but I can't because I'm in front of these white people and I'm in front of these fucking people. And if I bug out, it's going to bug up mad shit. So I try to stay calm, but he keep testing me, he keep pushing me. When I'm like, oh, oh my babe, like you front for the camera because you know I'm not even feeling you like that. I'm not even feeling you. I don't even want to have sex. I don't want to do have sex. Like I be lying, saying I'm on my period type shit. I don't want to. I don't want to suck your dick. I'll settle and suck your dick because I don't really want you like. I don't even really want really to touch. I don't want to. I don't like. I feel like when you fucking like, like you want like that nigga really inside you. Like your mouth, like I don't know. I never even like sucking dick like that anyway, to be honest. But his head, I suck mad dicks, and I'm like, whoa, hold up. If I sucked your dick, please come for it in the comments below, because to my knowledge, it ain't like that. So he expect me to suck his dick seven folds. I'm like, what? Because he got in his mind that I suck magic. Hey, I'm some crazy shit. Like, get away from me, Satan. I've been in such a good mental space. I don't drink. I might, you know, indulge in some adult activities. But I'm not doing that as often. Like, when I'm around this nigga, like, I gotta do that shit. Because, like, I be needing to calm my shit. I be needing to calm my mental down. Calm my anxiety and shit. And in order for shit to be normal, I have to suck his dick for that. Like, like, bitch, that ain't me. It ain't it. That ain't it, bitch. It ain't it. Fuck out of here. No, you acting funny. I'll eat by my motherfucking self because I already got bad anxiety. I don't even want, I never even wanted to be around this thing because I already done thought this whole situation out. And the end result was, eh, bitch, no. And, he, and he's still here, so. In order for this shit to function, a bitch might be sleeping on the couch tonight. I was here in this community couch because I can't be by this thing. Because when, when he don't get what he want, then he start to funny act and shit. And my mental capacity, I can't stand, like, it's another thing to coexist with somebody. But when they coexist and they being funny, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. And I can only stay calm for so long before I bug out. And I start, like, you know, I be really wanting to fight. But then I cry. And he a nigga. And I know he, trust me, I know he can be my ass. But... You know, I really do want to beat this nigga ass because it's like, yo, leave me the fuck alone. But I can't. So then I start breaking shit. I was doing mad shit. And it's like, I can't do that. I got kids. I got daughters. They learn, they learn, one, they learn first from their mama, period. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to break generational curses, you heard? Like, I'm not trying to, no, no, no. And this nigga just bring out the worst. Like, I, if I don't want to do something, I don't want to do it. And you shouldn't be, like... I shouldn't feel like I have to be... To get under the influence to do it. Like, I know I shouldn't be doing something. Especially if I don't want to do it. I shouldn't even try to influence myself to do something. That I really don't want to do. Just for B, C, D to happen. It's not, it's not that deep to me. Like, you know... If I wanted to suck dick, I suck dick, like, you know? 
if I want to fuck, I'll fuck. I generally don't want to do it. And at this point, I'm only doing it because you do hear. And the only reason why you hear is because we got kids together. Other than that, if you was some other random nigga, I, you wouldn't be here. Like, you know, I'm off that shit. I'm off that shit. So just because you, you date that, I'm supposed to be sucking your dick? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Shit, it just still don't add up to me. Oh, this fool is good. I'm so, like fucking it up right now. But damn, like. I just be really just trying to balance shit and figure shit out. Like, you know. My shit is like, I be feeling like my life is at a disarray. A real disarray. There's just so much shit going on in the real world. Like, shit with me mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, you know, that shit. But my daughters, Gracious got her needs and just Gracious. You know, see them. See they got her needs and her shit, you know. I'm just trying to balance this shit the fuck out the best way I can, you know. And I don't have it mastered. I know that. I definitely don't. But I know for sure I don't have time to be dealing with a nigga who just can't respect my shit. You heard? Like, when we was out here in Boston last time, we was here for two months. This nigga wasn't here. It was like a vacation, bro. Even regardless of the, the situation. And we wasn't really doing shit. We just was at the park. We hung out with... Lisi, Jazzy, and JD at her house, like, house, like, what, twice. We went to their birthday party. But, you know, for the most part, it was just me and Gracious. And then, you know, then Sita handling her shit. And, you know, when I was just, you know, playing her part. I wasn't stressed out. I mean, I was stressed out because this nigga would call me and argue with him, blocking me, pressing me about other shit that some weird, like, weird shit behind the scenes. Like, what? Whoa, like, you know, and it's just like, I'm doing the best that I can with the resources that I have available to me and the mental capacity that I have, but there's only so much a bitch can take before a bitch snaps. Like, there's only so much, and I feel like this thing is trying to push me and push me and push me to that limit, and I don't understand why. I just really honestly, like, and it'd be weird because like when certain shit happen, I feel like I should react a certain way, but like the, my reactions are delayed. Everything is just off. So like, I feel like I'm near point to tweak the fuck out, you know? Like maybe I have too much on my plate. <laughs> and a bitch is about to snap some. You know, because it's not like I'm getting an emotional or any type of support from this nigga. At this point, you just provided the seed for the kids because, like, you not even really being there for me in any type of way. You're not really helping me with shit. When I do sit a certain way, it's always a judgment or a comment. And, you know, like, I'm not looking for praise, but you comment on every little fucking thing that I do type shit. 